Hello, I'm Professional Angler Gary Klein, and I would like to again show you the benefits of being able to create your own baits. You know, traditionally on jigs that we do, you know, that most manufacturers have and most anglers use, they're a combination of what we call a two pad skirt. Basically, two pads of silicone will create the average skirt. Now, there's many ways to apply the silicone material. You can either tie it in a vise or use multiple types of tools, uh, what we call skirt tools. Open it up, slide it through, pop it off and you have a skirt. Or you can use a tube like this, put your band on, pull it off. This is the one I am going to use. But I want to show you some just little things beyond a two pad. Say I have a heavy cover jig and I want to try to do a bluegill creation. And I'm going to use two tabs, kind of a green pumpkin and a in a uh, gore green with some green flaking and great, great uh, sunfish colors. But then I want to add something a little bit different. Um, so let me just kind of start with it. And what I would do is I'm going to take a little bit of chartreuse and I'm going to take a little bit of a burnt orange with some orange flake. And all I'm going to do is add some color to this jig. So this is how I'm going to start it, my typical two pads. But I'm going to put a little chartreuse on one side and a little orange on the other side. And this is going to be the beginning of a skirt. That's one of my favorite skirts. You know, it'll kind of give you a good idea. As soon as you see this, and you're going to end up with a lot of ideas of how to create your own, we're using a multiple color patterns. I'm just going to build the skirt such as. So now I just have a traditional skirt with the band in the middle, okay? But I have chartreuse on one side and orange on the other side. And I'm gonna put it on my jig. So again, it just kind of looks like a blob. But this is where it gets interesting. What I plan on doing is taking this highlighted color that I put in there and I'm gonna cut it real short. I mean like real short. So here's my traditional cut on that, traditional cut on this. But these colors that I put in here to highlight, I'm going to trim them real, real short. And if you notice I'm using an orange band, that orange band again just adds more of a bluegill color to this jig. So now I'm taking all the color back out of it. Not all of it, but most of it. Cutting it real short. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here with the orange. So now what I've done is I've created a bluegill colored jig that's got a little highlighted color in it, basically around the collar. It's the same green pumpkin jig that I like to fish, but I just added a little highlight to it. And a lot of times I'll add blues and greens and just something to make it pop because what happens with this material that when a jig goes in the water because of the water flow, it's all laid back. But when you hit the bottom or when you hit a piece of cover, then that skirt flares open. And when it opens up, you have all that color in there. And it just gives a lot of body to the jig. So that's just one of many little things that you can do to kind of highlight your jig and basically create your own great fish catching bait. Check us out at wired2fish.com.